This is Calm AF, a podcast for humans who are hard on themselves. A podcast for the overthinkers, people pleasers, perfectionists, and overachievers. I'm Kristen Finch, and I'm going to teach you how to quiet that incessant negative chatter in your head. Because you know what a person with a calm mind can do? Anything they want. Grab your coffee, gorgeous soul, because today's the day you get calm AF. Hello, gorgeous soul. Guess what we're doing today? Today, we are going to do a good old-fashioned pep talk. All you got to do today is just sit back, listen, let my words fuel you, motivate you, add a little light to your heaviness. First, before I do the pep talk, and I'm going to tell you why we're doing a pep talk this week, but first, two quick things. In the show notes, there is a link to a quiz that I created a while back. Now, I don't know about you. I know a lot of my listeners. um, I've got a lot of younger listeners, but I also have got a lot of Gen X. So shout out Gen X. This quiz is maybe it'll warm your cold Gen X heart. (laughs) You know, we just... Forgotten a lot. We're the forgotten generation because we were just like little feral, little latchkey kids. Like we just had to learn how to raise ourselves. And quizzes, oh gosh, do you remember you just run to the mailbox and find your like teen magazine or 17 magazine or YM or oh gosh, Cosmo? Like you'd go run and you first thing you do, you'd like rush through like the contents to see if there was a quiz. And then you get your pen and you'd circle the answers in the magazine. Oh, it's like nostalgia. It's just warming my, my cold heart. <laughs> but I made a quiz. As soon as I was like, this is a thing we can do. I can create a quiz. I made a quiz. And the link to it is in the show notes. And what this quiz is, it's 10 questions. It's really quick. But basically, it's asking you different questions to see whether you would kind of be categorized more as a people pleaser or an energy manager, or a perfectionist, or an overachiever, or maybe a combo of of some of them. Um, It's a great quiz. And then what happens is once you're done, you get this little mini email course that kind of tells you more about your type. It's super fun. Definitely go and do it. Um, That's in the show notes. The second thing is, if you like today's pep talk episode, I want you to think about how it would feel to get a pep talk from me every single day. That's what My Calm AF lifers get a daily pep talk. I call it my love letters. It shows up in their email first thing in the morning. Um, And I've heard so many times that it's the love letters. That's what we call them, love letters, that have helped people stick to their goals longer than anything else they've tried in their life. Like the the, the course is great. The coaching is great. But this daily pep talk reminding them of the future self life they are creating is what has kept them sticking to their goals longer than anything they've ever tried in their entire life, which I say, of course, right? The only reason anyone doesn't stick to their goals is if we aren't relentlessly committed to it. That's it. It's not really about skill. It's not really about inherent talent. It's like, how long are you willing to keep trying? Because if you're willing to keep trying forever, you're going to achieve your goals. Like, that's just it. So anyway, a uh, little plug for Calm AF Life. We're having the best time over there. All right. So pep talk time. You are getting a pep talk because yesterday I needed and received a pep talk. I was feeling really discouraged yesterday. I was feeling stuck, confused, kind of, I was a lot in fear thinking. There was just a lot going on yesterday. Now, most days I am able to very efficiently independently zoom out when I'm experiencing a non-preferred feeling like that, when I'm feeling that way. I'm able to observe it and notice it and name it and then just feel it. Like I don't have to cover up my feelings anymore. I just let myself feel without getting all up in my head and spinning and spinning and spinning on how to fix it. But yesterday, it was like I would get myself back in my body to feel the feeling and then before I knew it or even was like aware, it was like blacked out and I would be all up in my head spinning again. So I kept going back and forth, like just feel the feeling. And then my brain would be like, yeah, but this seems like a really big deal. 
And then I would say, I would zoom out and be like, nope, just feel where you feel it. Where is your heart? It's your chest. It's your throat. Where is it? Just allow it. And then I'd be back up in my head. Okay, there. I felt it. I felt it. Okay. But now, Kristen, now it's probably time to freak out. Let's freak out. (laughs) That's what was happening with me yesterday. And I was using all my tools, but for whatever reason, it just wasn't happening, which is normal. So my old self, the MO, would be to isolate. Like when I get into a really spinny place, I tend to isolate. I pull up all of the armor that I've, I bring it up from the storage closet in my subconscious basement, all of the work I've done to not wear the armor, I just pull it right back out and I put it on and I'm like, yep, you are in this all by yourself. You have to figure this out. It's all on you. I don't know if this is a truth or a myth, but it's the thought that comes up for me right now. I remember hearing how like when a wolf is injured or sick or something, they will go off away from the pack. They will like go off in private, isolate themselves and like die alone. (laughs) I was like, that's how it feels when I am dealing with something scary or dealing with really busy thoughts or I'm like, just go off and die alone, Kristen. Just go off and figure this out on your own. Don't worry your pack. Don't bother anyone else with this. Don't bother anyone ever. And now what I know for sure is that It's not a sign of strength, this whole like putting on armor and powering through and I have to do this all on my own. That is not a sign of strength. What that is when I do that, it's my old pattern shining through. It's energy managing, right? Oh, well, if I tell someone that I'm struggling, then they're going to freak out. I'm the one who has to keep everyone calm. If I'm not calm, what's going to happen? Or I'm the one that people come to when they're freaking out, not the other way around. I'm always the one that you come to. So I know this. I know it's just my old patterns, and I've gotten a lot better at being vulnerable. But when the conditions are just right, I don't know, maybe when I'm tired combined with something isn't working or something that I've been like, I'm in a trying to figure something out and I just can't seem to figure it out yet, or maybe I have a little catastrophic thinking, I forget. It's like I forget that, that I can help or that I can ask people for help. So as soon as I remembered, before I could let the yeah buts in my head, the thoughts, get any louder, I sent a text message to Amanda. And I said, I'm confused about this thing. I feel like I shouldn't be. I feel like I should know this. I should understand this. I shouldn't be having a hard time with this. But I am. Can you help me understand this? Now, she's my best friend. Of course. She is happy to help me with anything that I ask for. But my brain was like, no, you're going to bother her. You're gonna, you, she's going she's gonna to judge you because this is something that you should be able to figure out on your own and you can't. And like she can figure it out on your own. So, she's go- so that's where my brain went. I also reached out to my dear friend Siobhan and I just I texted her. I was like, I, need, I just need a pep talk. I'm having trouble believing in myself right now. Can you just give me a pep talk? And my logical brain told me, like, of course she will. She will be more than happy to give me a pep talk. She wants to be there for me, right? That's what Siobhan and I do. We remind each other of our amazingness when we forget, right? But my old story was very loud, like, no, 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 no. Don't let her know you're struggling. You're the one who has to be okay. You're the one who's okay. You're always okay. People can't know that you're not okay. And it's, she knows I'm not okay, but that's what my brain was trying to tell me. So I reached out to Amanda. I reached out to Siobhan. I reached out to Dave and I just needed, I just wanted him. I wanted to feel safe. Like I just needed to feel safe and loved. I asked him to rub my neck. I asked him to watch Ted Lasso with me on the couch. Like I just needed to get, I just needed to feel raw and I just wanted to feel safe and loved, so I asked for it. And again, when my neocortex is operational because my nervous system is regulated, I know that he is thrilled when I ask for help, when I bring things to him, when he's when he allow when I allow him to support me. Like he loves it. But my 
brain, my old bag of shit story was, I cannot be needy. Like if I need something from someone, that means I'm needy. So I had to work through all of those things, but I did, right? Even though these stories, I have been working through them, I would say they're 93 to 95% unlearned. And so like 93 to 95% rewired, like my new story is, is the more hardwired story. This shit still pops up when the conditions are just right. Or maybe it's when the conditions are just wrong. I always call it the perfect storm. So I wanted to share this with you today. I wanted to share what I had kind of experienced yesterday and how I did end up reaching out and how it was, it, the, by the end of the day, I was feeling so good. <laughs> like I was feeling so much better. I just still hadn't solved the problem that I was kind of grappling with, which is what's funny is that then this morning I just reached out to Amanda again. I was like, I, one more clarification here. And she said something to me. We had a conversation and I was like, got it. Like it was just, and it was okay to ask for more help. Like that felt really big for me. So I wanted to share this with you for a couple of reasons. First, to let you know and remind you that your old stories are always going to be a part of you. The goal isn't to make them disappear. The goal is to quiet them down, to quiet that incessant negative chatter so that after a while you just forget they're there, right? But they're going to still be there. You're just going to forget because they're going to get quiet. It's not a problem. This is when people tell me like, oh, I thought I had already solved this. I thought I had already unlearned this. Yeah, you did. But that doesn't mean it goes away. It's still a neural pathway. The second reason I wanted to share this was especially for you people pleasers and energy managers and perfectionists, I want you to know that asking for help doesn't make you weak. Like when I just told that story, like I reached out to three people Does it make you think, gosh, that Christian's real weak? Like, no. You're like, good for you. Reach out for help. I want you to take that permission that you give me so freely and give it to yourself. Permission to ask for help. Permission to get help wherever you need it. Okay, Asking for the people who love you to support you when you're struggling is a gift to them. People who love you want to be there for you. Let them. And if your people don't, if you don't have people in your life that want to see you shine, that if you were to reach out and ask for support, that they would shame you or judge you or or deny you, first, get new people. Get new people. Like, life is too short. You need better people. And if you don't have that, if you don't have people to support you, pep talks, for when you're going through a hard time, no worries. I got you. I got you. So sit back and receive this pep talk from me to you. I want you to just take a deep breath and really listen to the words I'm about to say. You are enough just as you are. In a world that is constantly telling us we need to do more, to be more, to achieve more, it's easy to feel like you're not measuring up. But let me tell you, your worth is not defined by anything external, by external expectations. It's not determined by how much you do for other people. Your worthiness is inherent. It comes from within, just because you were born. You don't need to earn your worth. It's already yours. No strings attached. You don't need to do anything. So let go of the belief that you have to make everyone else happy in order to be happy yourself. It is a heavy, heavy load to carry. It's simply not true. And it is safe for you to put that heavy load down. Instead, give yourself permission to focus on nurturing yourself, your own well-being, embracing your strengths, embracing your imperfections, practicing self-compassion. You are worthy of love. You belong just as you are. And your happiness And your life matters just as much as anyone else's. And remember, vulnerability is not a weakness. It's a strength. Allow yourself to be seen, to be authentic, and to let go of the need for perfection. Let go of the need to manage everyone else's energy and become the master of your own. 
That is the key to freedom. That is the key to creating and manifesting the life you want. Embrace your true self. Surround yourself with people who lift you up, who are happy to give you pep talks as soon as you ask for it, who celebrate your worthiness and who support you on your journey. You are worthy right now, just as you are. Don't let anything stop you. And if I can help you, I would be honored. I love you so much. Have an amazing rest of your day. You got this. If you love this podcast, you will love Call Me F Life. It's a self-paced, lifetime access DIY course that teaches you all the concepts that I talk about here from nervous system regulation to manifesting with ease. And since we know that true change doesn't happen just because you know what to do, you also get an all access pass to coaching calls and accountability so you don't stay stuck and you don't give up. The best investment you could ever make is in yourself. Calm AF Life is here for you now. Life's not waiting. Let's get you aligned with your Calm AF self gorgeous soul. I cannot wait to meet you. Go to kristenfinch.com and join me today.